Hey everybody, my name is Dan Fur and welcome to Sin School. Today I want to teach you the difference between positive and negative envelopes. So in our last video we learned about envelope amount and we've seen what positive envelopes look like. But what is a negative envelope? Well, in order to explain that, I want to bring back that graph that we've made before. So as we can see, the attack rises, the decay fades to the sustain, the sustain holds, and then the release fades to nothing. With a negative envelope, all we have to do is invert this graph, and now we have a completely new path of modulation. So with this new graph, we can see that negative envelopes react a little bit differently. But how do they react? Well, in order to explain that, let's dive into my sledge and let me show you an example. So in this example, I'm going to be looking specifically at the filter envelope on the sledge. And that's just because amplitude envelopes can't exactly go to a negative value, and I'll explain why that is in a little bit. So as we've learned in the previous video about filter envelopes, when the filter envelope is set to a positive amount, the filter will rise upwards from where the cutoff is set. But with a negative envelope amount, the filter will simply rise downwards from where the cutoff is set. So you can see when the filter is set at a positive amount, the filter sweeps upward from where the filter is originally set. But with a negative amount, the filter sweeps downwards from where the filter was originally set. Now that we've looked at an example from a filter envelope, let's take another look at an auxiliary envelope so that way we can understand negative envelopes even further. For this example, I want to use the envelope to modulate the LFO rate. And I'm using the LFO to modulate the oscillator pitch, so that way it's easy and obvious to hear what's actually happening. With a negative envelope value, the LFO would simply start at the programmed rate, then the attack would make it slow down, the decay would make it speed back up to the sustain, the sustain would hold, and then for the release that would just take the time for the LFO to get back to the rate that it was initially programmed at. And now with a positive envelope amount, we start to see the LFO speed up. So as I mentioned before, there is never a negative envelope value associated with an amplitude envelope. And that's just simply because amplitude's always set at zero. There's no point in going downwards from zero because that's just going to be quieter than quiet and we're not going to be able to hear it. It's pointless. But when you think of filter or an LFO rate, you can easily see how that can go up or down and realistically a positive or negative envelope value can both be very beneficial. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Dan Fur. As always, if you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Cheers. Have a good one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with all the new synth tips and tricks. Cheers.